In this video, we are going to learn how to take the derivatives of a few elementary functions. Let's start with the derivatives of constant functions. And before I write what the derivative of a constant function is, let's try to think it out, think it through. The derivative is our rate of change. The derivative at a point tells you how quickly the function is changing at that point. Constant functions are constant. They aren't changing. So what should the rate of change be of a function that never changes? The derivative of a constant function is zero. Now we're going to take learn to take the derivatives of linear functions. Although at Actually, we're going to learn to do something a little weaker than that. A linear function, as you would have learned it in algebra, has the form mx plus b. We're going to ignore the plus b part of that and learn to differentiate functions of the form m times x. And again, before I put the derivative on the piece on the paper, let's try to work this out. Just thinking it through logically. What property does a function have to make it a linear function? Well, linear functions have constant rates of change. This coefficient in front of the x is the constant rate of change. So if the derivative is the instantaneous rate of change, and the rate of change is always m, it surely makes sense that the derivative of m times x ought to be m. And indeed it is. Let's state a special case of this. The derivative of x is 1. Since x is 1 times x. Well, here are two rules we now know. We're just getting started. In the next video, we'll learn how to take the derivative of a power.